Hello everyone, welcome back to our Java programming series. In today's video, we are going to talk about one of the most commonly used flow control statement in Java and that is called for loop. A for loop in Java is a control flow statement that allow you to repeat a block of code a specific number of times it is especially useful when you know exactly how many times you want to execute a statement or block of code so this is the syntax of for loop it will start with for a for r and open parenthesis close parenthesis and inside you will have three things first of all you can see it is called initialization so this step initializes the loop control variable it is executed once the loop is start next one is called condition so the loop continue as long as this condition is true once the condition becomes false the loop automatically is stop and the last one is called update that means this update the loop control variable after each iteration either it will go as a increment or decrement so before going inside please make sure you have already finished this video this video will definitely help you to understand increment and decrement so just take simple example if i want to print till 5 so what we can do so in the initialization that means from where we have to start so always try to start from one index so if i'm talking about five that means it will start from one two three four five so in the initialization will always contain the beginning position so that means we have to start from the one and condition like till which position you want to run our code so here you can give like i less than equal to 5 that means start from 1 and go till 5 so here you can see it is going from 1 2 3 4 5 so it is going as an increment order so in the update you can just mention i plus plus that means when the first loop is in dead whatever i value is there then just add plus 1 i know it sounds like little bit confusion so please do not worry we will check everything in detail so you can check this image so here one simple syntax is there for and here we have given the initialization as int i equal to one that means we are initializing from one and we have given like i less than equal to five condition that means we are saying like boss will go till 5 only now i plus plus that means once the loop run just increment the value of i so you can see this photo correct so here i equal to 1 then i equal to 2 i equal to 3 i equal to 4 then i equal to 5 so our code will go from 1 to 5 so you can see 1 to 5 persons are cutting the cake but if you notice so our code will never go here so that's why this person is not cutting the cake but he's just pretending like he's cutting the cake but he's not touching the knife so this will little bit give you some idea so let's try to write one simple code so if i say let's print 1 to 5 so what you will do as a fresher you will thought like let's print like system dot out print ln 1 2 3 4 5 and change the value as 2 3 4 5 definitely you thought like this one and you will run and you will say like here i am able to print 1 to 5 but in case if i will say let's print 1 to 100 so what you will do are you going to type system dot out print ln 1 2 3 till 100 maybe you can write but it is so much time consuming and this is not a proper way so how you can do here for loop is going to play an important role so let's write here for so in the initialization we have to say like where you have to start so if i say int i equal to one that means i'm saying like boss i will start from one so once the initialization is done so here you can put your condition so condition will be i less than six so till five i am considering here so here you can see i am not using int i because i have already declared this variable so that's why no need to again use int now again use semicolon and so here we are going one to six that means as a increment order so just give i plus plus so if you will run what will be happen you can see we are not getting anything in the console because we are not printing anything in the system dot out dot print ln line so just use this out and just put message like any random character so you can see it is printing totally five times now i need to print one two three four five how you can do so let's 
put here breakpoint and run this code as a debug mode so you can see when the i value is 1 we come inside after that if you click resume now i value is what 2 similarly if you resume 3 then 4 then 5 and once you cross the 5 then you can see the code will execute it perfectly so if you see here you can see only 4 but actually it is a 5 1 is hidden there so one thing we understand like i is containing 1 2 3 4 5 so let's remove this one and just print i so you can see right how it is very easy to print 1 2 3 4 5 in case if someone says like no boss i want 1 comma 2 comma 3 then what you can do just remove this line so now if you run what will be happen you will notice everything is coming into one line so if you want you can just put a space now what will be happen you can see one space is there if you add comma the code will be changed like this one so this is one simple way to print so here you have to understand like we have initialized i value as a one and our loop will go till i less than six and here we are saying like after each iteration iteration means like once this code is completed then please increment the i value by one so that's why we are using i plus plus similarly if you change here as a 16 then what will be happen you can see we are going to print till 15 so if you use ln and if you want you can remove this line now you can again rerun so you can see in the console it is printing till 1 to 15 so here this is called increment but what if i want to print from 16 till 1 so it is also pretty simple so what you have to do first of all let's enter the syntax so this is the syntax now we have to give our starting point so i'm saying like i want to start from 16 now what we have to go till 0 or i can say till one so you can say like i greater than zero that means you have to go till when i equal to zero that means if i is greater than zero then please try to be inside the for loop now what we are going 16 to 1 that means we are going as a decrement order so here you can just use i minus minus that means it will reduce only one value 16 then 15 then like till 1 so similarly let's try to print so here also you can see i now for now just comment this line so now you can see we are printing 16 then 15 then 14 then 13 blah 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 here you can play with this code here you can put the if condition like if i equal to 10 then just print message like hello so let's comment this line now if you run you can see we'll just get only one time hello it will print when i equal to 10 so let's try to debug now you can run so first time what i value 16 so it will not come inside this line you can see similarly it will go it will go so currently i value is 13 then i value is 12 then i value is 11 now i value is 10 so it will satisfy this if condition now it will go inside this if condition and it will try to print the hello so you understand how you can play with this one so please try to do more practice about i plus plus and i minus minus because once you will get some control then you can easily play with the star pattern number pattern and so many things and trust me when you start your professional life you are going to use so many places for loop if else and these things mostly you are going to use so let's recap whatever we learned today so the for loop is perfect when you know how many times you want to execute a block of code it has three main part initialization condition and update here you can use i plus plus to increment the value or i minus minus to decrement the value that's it for today's video on the for loop if you found this video please hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more java tutorial